Welcome to Tuesday Talks, episode 36. Yes, we're in episode 36. And today, I want to talk about this new Happy Planner Mambi release. What's your thoughts? Do you have a fear of missing out on it? Or do you have the joy of missing out on it? Is it for you? I had initially planned on talking about something else today, but I could not let this opportunity pass without talking about um, the memory release. Let me take off my glasses because of the glare. So we don't want that problem. So I'm going to, <laughs> that's too funny. I just took my glasses off and I look on Facebook. It says, without my glasses, I am nothing. I can't even hear. That's too funny. Um, so yeah, we're going to talk about this release. Um, but what's going good with you guys lately? I have been very exhausted um, getting back into this groove of teaching all day, every day. The days do tend to go by fast because I only have 45 minute classes, but it's tiring. I feel like really drained at the end of the day. So it's just like, oh, yeah, because I'm just, I didn't do this all school year last year. I didn't sit and teach all day long, every day of the week, like I'm doing now. So, and I'm starting to lose my voice from talking. Um, regularly and all day. So my voice is going in and out. Um, but yeah, let's see. This cover is okay. Hey, Kate, how are you? Yeah, I'm just trying to get back in the groove of being in the classroom all day. <laughs> Your computer's acting weird. You know, my, my tablet did an update. I think it did the update. I kept postponing the update, but I'm assuming it did the update. <laughs> um, and ever since I did the update, I can't pull up a PDF at all. It will not pull up PDFs. Even if I have them saved to a drive or what, it's not pulling them up. And it just goes like to the internet and asks, do I want to search for this PDF or whatever? And I'm like, no, I don't want to search for this PDF. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know. So, um my brother was saying I probably have to download some kind of app now to to view PDFs. I don't know. It's just very weird, and I don't like it because I do I deal with a lot of PDFs for um, for teaching, and it limits me to handle stuff at home. I have to handle everything at work. Yeah, I know. I know Adobe Reader is free, but. I thought I already had that on my tablet, but maybe I didn't. I thought it automatically was installed on here. So I might have to go and try and do that because I need to be able to use a PDF. <laughs> Can't be waiting till I get to work all the time. Although I don't like bringing work home. God knows I don't. At some point I need to be able to at least kind of lesson plan at home when I have to, and I need to be able to pull up those PDFs. Yeah, so I'm going to check into downloading that again, because I thought, like I said, I thought it was already on here, but apparently not. So I'm going to have to pull that up. And um, 
added on here. But otherwise, I've been doing good. I, I don't want to lose my voice. I need to take some throat coat tea in case that's what's going on here. I can't afford to lose my voice. I cannot <laughs> afford to do that. Um, so I definitely... <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out a way to get my voice back. Because <laughs> y'all know I dealt with that over the summer. Almost the entire summer, I didn't really have a voice. Uh, repeating myself to the little children. And now standing up and talking all day. And then plus the allergens here right now. The combination of the two. It's not really helping. And so it is really causing me to um, lose my voice. Hey, Raz, how are you? tired <laughs> about the same I'm, I'm i'm tired too have you started your new job yet I um I was happy for Labor Day. <laughs> and I hate to sound like this, but I just I just need another vacation. Like I need another day. So the last few weeks of August. You love it? That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm just I just have to find a nice groove right now because I think I found a group for Algebra 2. I found a resource I can use for Algebra Well, I already had a resource I could use for Algebra 2. And I found another resource I could use for Algebra 2. I'm still needing to find a great resource for my geometry class since those two classes don't have textbooks. And then I got to get in a groove for the lesson planning because I have to plan for four classes. And I have to use several different sites. One site for the TEKS. Well, I, I went ahead and printed out my TEKS. So I didn't even have to pull that up anymore. So I have the TEKS. Um, which are, are the Texas standards. And then I go to another site to enter the lesson plan. There's another site to enter the assignments and the grades. And I'm used to like using one site for all of that pretty much. Oh, thank you. I was so in love with that last one I did. I really, really didn't want to write in it. Like I didn't really write in almost any of my planners last week because I was loving all of my spreads. <laughs> I don't think I wrote in a single one of my planners last week. I just kind of use like half notes and things like that to remind me of what I needed to do. That. And um, I think the only thing I wrote in may have been like my fitness one. And I can't even remember if I wrote in that, but I don't even know if I tracked my food last week. <laughs> so yeah. But thank you. I um, I'm enjoying it, and I I like the fact that I changed it around this week, and I like the fact that I can change it around whenever I want to, and I can kind of do it however I want to, and I can still be organized with it. So that was the thing that scared me about changing things up this week um, and putting you know the boxes that I put in there. I was like, okay, this is actually throwing off my rows and my columns, but. It worked out, you know, it really did. So I needed some inspiration to get through the week. So that's why I use my Faith Warrior stickers <laughs> um, in that spread. And I never use my Faith Warrior stickers in anything but my personal Bible study. I hardly ever use them for anything else. And I need to remember, I got some great bullets in that sticker book. <laughs> 
And there are some good checklists in there too. So I need to start reminding myself, you know, hey, you can actually pull this sticker book out and use it some more, you know. But yeah. Hey, Christy. How are you? I love your new setup. Came out nice. I like that you have the one little spot there for filming and then you have your other workspace. Oh, I wish I had a, a whole room <laughs> where I could do that. I just got to put one of these brothers out and then I'll have space. <laughs> oh, tell him I said hello. <laughs> I love that space you have. It's just really conducive for crafting and penning and and then I like how your lights are directly on um, the side. But the way my setup is, I can't put my lights like directly on the side of my desk. I can only put my lights kind of on the side of have them pointing towards my workspace. Because like I've told you all before, our den is like the catch-all room. <laughs> and we really need to clean that and organize that because there's just like everything in there. Yeah, mine have, my lights aren't made quite the same. They're like um, umbrella lights. Oh, let me see if I could show you what mine look like. Do you see that? That's how mine look. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll need some advice later about my YouTube channel, but no hurry, we can talk later. <laughs> but yeah, so. I don't know if you guys have been um, tuning in. Like last, let me tell you how busy I've been that I barely realized last week that there's new Happy Planner stuff coming out. Barely noticed that Michael's had all those teacher student planners on sale and I totally missed that sale, which kind of made me mad because I was like, if anything, I could have gotten a teacher, a few teacher planners and kept them and saved the date change the dates. So my local Michaels, the one closer to me, totally sold out. And I really don't want to go to another one that's far from me just to find out that they don't have any more. So I hate I missed that sale. Like I've been so busy. I had, I barely noticed any of that. And so start seeing like little sneak peeks of all the new happy planner stuff. And I'm like, please come out with a neutral planner, please neutral vertical, neutral vertical, please, please. And then one of the first ones that I saw was the planner, the Teresa Collins planner. That's going to be at Staples. Now, don't get me wrong. It is a beautiful planner and it is fairly neutral. But I want something like so neutral that I don't even want any colored lines. I either want a black or a gray line. And I don't want anything along the little inside spine at all. And there is like shading on the calendar on the weekend days on the calendar um, on the monthly spreads. Even though it's that like kind of peachy pinky color, it's not intense, but you may just not want it there sometimes. Um, and so I was like, okay, this might be my only option if nothing else neutral comes about. So I'm not too gung-ho thus far about the girls. So I'm really more so waiting to see what else they're going to have. So I just wanted to talk about it and get share my thoughts and get y'all's thoughts on it, even though I had something totally different I wanted to talk about today, but I could not miss the opportunity to talk about this. I don't like the shading on the weekend. I haven't seen any of it. I am trying not to look. I need to get my business out there. I fail you. So you like the homebody? So yeah, the homebody, I do like it, but I just feel it still kind of has a botanical meets daydreamer feel to it. And so I guess my thing is I'm really looking for them to wow me with something new and original. And then I hate that those blue discs are on that stargazer one. 
As much as I love the original Free Spirit book, I can't, I don't like that Stargazer. I don't like it. It reminds me a lot of, um, it was one of those little Brights books they had that had that same kind of coloring effect, like with the little swatches of color. And I don't know. I don't like the big moons and stuff. I don't like it. I don't know. It did not appeal to me at all. But I do like those blue discs. But I'm not happy planner crazy where I'm going to go spend money on a planner just for the disc. I'm not there. But I'm not going to get that planner at a super discount. And the way my Joann's is set up around here, if there's anything that I like that's going to be a Joann's, forget it. I'm going to have to buy it on the Happy Planner site. If there's something that's going to be at Michael's, I might have a chance. <laughs> um, so Stargazer, not feeling Stargazer. And I'm just not feeling any of the layouts at all. I like the homebody, like you, Christy. I think it's very pretty, but I'm not a dashboard layout girl. That's not going to work for me. <laughs> um, I wish they let us design our own planners and sticker books, like keep their format, but we choose the color palette. Yeah, I kind of like how um, Aaron Condra lets you kind of customize some things. We'll pick the stickers we need. Inkwell Press? Never heard of Inkwell Press. I doubt they will wow us with anything more rigid. Mm -hmm. it, you're so right, Raz. I've already seen the recycling. Like I said, I feel like they took Botanicals and Daydreamer, married them, and gave us Homebody. Although Daydreamer and Botanical both have beautiful florals. But I'm still just looking for something new. That's what I'm looking for, something new new. Um, so I did see, like I said, several things on Instagram and Facebook. I know that there's a monthly. That's the, Is that the one that's the monthly? The home? The home body is the monthly. No? Which one is the monthly? Oh, that was the stargazer. So the stargazer was the monthly. The home body is the dashboard, I believe. Yeah. So I don't care for either of those. I am a vertical girl. And if I can even find a new mini that's not horizontal, I might even do that too. Because um, it's just, for me, it's hard to be decorative and functional in a horizontal mini. I think horizontal minis are great for journaling and when you got a lot to write. And then I'm starting to wonder, do I even need a mini anymore? Because I mainly use my Happenichi. So do I even really need a mini? I'm thinking I don't need a mini anymore. <laughs> I don't know. i got to really weigh that one out. I've never even gone to that equal site. Me either. I never heard of that equal site. Michaels is getting more than they usually do. So awesome. That's true. Because I didn't think Michaels was going to be a part of this at all to tell you the truth. So I'm shocked that they are included. But I just think it's very interesting, strange that this is what I saw when I looked at the homebody stuff today. They had some filler paper. The classic size was exclusive to one store. The mini size was exclusive to another store. That made no sense to me. I was like, why would they do that? You were just making people run around to different stores because they might like that filler paper and they want it in both sizes. I thought that was just crazy. To, that, that's crazy to me. They used to do spiral bound. Well, last year started disc bound planners. You pick your cover, your inserts, your divide. But after adding it up, can be, whoo. Sounded great until it got to the $60, Kate. <laughs> then again, it's custom. It's all custom to you. So I'm still waiting for that. Jane, I think it's Jane's agenda on Instagram. They have a layout that I really, really love that's very neutral. But I don't think they have it in the classic size yet is what it is. And let me tell you, if they ever come out with that, forget it. I'm going with them. And then my brother was like, well, make your own planner. I was like, the happy planner has great paper. He goes, find out the weight of their paper and make your own planner. And I'm like, he's right. I might really need to do that. Or 
I don't know if Office Depot does it, if I can request a certain paperweight and just create one and have them print it all because I need a neutral vertical planner. That's what I need in my life. <laughs> Maybe Joanne's burned them last year or release me too. <laughs> but metal disc and high quality paper. Oh, they have metal disc too. Different colors, Kate. So like you want to try the Hapanichi Ras? So I saw they have those. And so I started thinking about that and I'm like, I kind of enjoy making my own layouts, which I could still do. I could still frank and plan and add in my own filler sheets and still do my own layouts for my Happy Nietzsche if I were to buy one of those Happy Nietzsche planners. But then I considered these are wrong, wrong planners, which means there's not going to be nothing neutral about them, <laughs> which I don't really mind. But I would need to make sure that I'm going to use that majority than doing my own layouts before I were to purchase that. And I saw that it's a horizontal layout. So I don't know if Happy Planner is going to copy the original Hobonichi layout. If that's what they're using for these half sheet planners, not sure. But since it's, it said horizontal, that's what came to my mind. Um, I don't really even like the original Hobonichi layout <laughs> and I haven't even used a layout really similar to that. I don't think at all in my Hobonichi, maybe once. I don't think so. You want seasonal sticker books and colorful boxes? You know, I've purchased sticker books because they had a lot of colorful boxes. And that's the only reason I've really purchased some sticker books. That's mainly why I purchased some of the teacher sticker books that I purchased. They had a lot of colorful boxes in them. Um, but I'm with you on that. And I do have one seasonal. It's a student seasonal that I just purchased. And then I have two books. And I've barely even tapped into those. Try Agendio. You can customize it, but okay. Agendio. All right. All right, wrong, wrong has me hesitant with the half size. I think I might try at home with Kita inserts. Oh, I, I, I forgot she was making inserts too. Just, I just want to wonder how much they're going to charge for a half note planner. Like, I'm really wondering what they're going to charge for that. I don't want to buy one if the price is too high. Because in case I can keep buying filler paper for cheaper and making my own layout still. So I saw also that they have the monthly for the Stargazer. They have the dashboard for the homebody. I think it's the Happy Hostess I found out today is going to have the Miss Maker checklist format. I don't know if it have all those colors or any other colors like they did with the Miss Maker. Not sure. I'm definitely not a happy hostess. I can't stand company. <laughs> so I'm like, that's not me. That planner girl is definitely not me. But I'm willing to see what that one's all about. I know it's not going to be neutral, but it might have a lot of pastries in it. <laughs> it might have pastries. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I'm definitely not the happy hostess. I I don't do company. I don't have anybody come over here to see me except my bestie. And because he works two jobs, I don't even see him that much as it is. So yeah, I think I get that from my mother. My mother never liked having company. And I think that just kind of stuck with... Um, me and my brothers, because we don't really like entertaining people. <laughs> we don't. Um, I wonder if they're going to have more wrong, wrong sticker books. And I haven't looked at the covers in detail enough to know if those same wrong, wrong images are new images or images that we've already seen before. 
And so I saw that the date that all this stuff goes on sale is the 20th of September, which is a Friday morning. I'm starting to think I'm probably not going to want too much from the website. I don't know. I don't know. If most of what I want is from Michael's, I'll take the risk and try to get it at Michael's. But that's the thing. You take the risk. But we learned from that last release. They didn't send everything to the stores when they were supposed to send them to the stores. And stuff came later. So it's like you take a risk and give Happy Planner most of your money. Because I'm sure they probably still aren't going to give us more than that 20%. Although they just did a 30% to clear some inventory. I don't know. We shall see. So. Um, definitely not a happy hostess, <laughs> but happy hostess looks fun. It looks fun. Like, like, but we were all blown away and thought Miss Maker was fun until we got tired of those colors. <laughs> so I know now to think very wisely about making any purchasing decisions after that last girl release. I thought, oh, I'm good. I want the Miss Maker in a mini. I love that checklist format. I can't stand those colors now. I can't stand them. It's hard to cover them weekly. So I was, I bought some washi, Happy Planner washi on clearance at Walmart, which will probably cover those Miss Maker lines nicely. But now that I think about it, I mainly have bold colors, just a few pastel colors in those washies that I just bought. So I made up my mind that I will only actively shop at Michael's. If I happen to be at Joanne or Hobby Lobby and see something like I will think about, it, but I'm not running it. You know, I don't even know if I'm going to bother with Joanne at all. I just don't think I can. I don't think I can do it. Joanne's will stress you out. And after I ran to New Braunfels that time to get a sticker book for Johanna, when they told me they were putting it aside and they didn't put aside, yes, New Braunfels is what, a 30, 45 minute drive with heavy traffic from here. But that didn't mean I wanted to waste my time. My time is precious to me. That does not mean I wanted to waste my time. So Joanne's is, they're like a box of chocolates. You don't know what you're going to get with Joanne's. And even ordering online, I'm still waiting for some washi that y'all told me was y'all were going to send me and you still haven't sent it. Um, I was watching one of Johanna's videos the other day. She was saying she just got something from them that she ordered in July. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Joanne's has got to do better with inventory. I, I don't understand it. We're in a day and age where everyone should be on point with inventory. I mean, Hobby Lobby still don't even scan their items, but they got their inventory pretty much in place. I, I'm just, I'm baffled about that with Hobby Lobby and the inventory situation with Joy. It just makes no sense to me. Michael's is only five minutes from me, but Joy and Hobby Lobby are close to 30. Yeah, I don't have any of those stores really close to me. Joanne's is about 15 minutes away and it is like the worst Joanne's in the city. Uh, the worst. And Michael's probably 20 minutes away. That Michael's is a pretty good Michael's though. They, they, they're pretty good. Um, but I'm just like... I'm not trying to be running all around the creation. My sister ordered Joanne online, wrong, wrong stuff, and 90% of her. Yeah. Now, there's my thing. I shouldn't even be able to get this. I shouldn't even be able to get to a point where I'm entering my credit card information. Because I can understand when I put it in the cart, it might actually be available and someone else has checked out before me and now it's gone. But once I get to paying it, it should already be removed from the cart and showing that it's out. 
I should not have to wait till I have purchased my order, gotten a couple of emails from you before you tell me you don't have it. That is bad business. In my opinion, that is false advertisement. That is, oh, that's bad business. You don't tell me you have it and then you turn around and cancel my order. And they don't really do rain checks for people either. When I went to all the way to New Braunfels, they offered me nothing for my wasted time and my wasted trip there. They offered me nothing. And to tell you the truth, I haven't purchased much from Joanne's since. One of the last releases, um, I found there was some of the wrong, wrong stuff. Yeah, with the wrong, wrong release, I was I found a couple of things at um, one of the other Joanne's here in town that's a little further away. And I was shocked that I even found the stuff there. That's what I was about to type into. Yeah, it, it's just like, uh, it's crazy. Crazy. And no Hobby Lobby is near me. No Hobby Lobby is even really near my work. So if I want to go to Hobby Lobby, I can't go on Saturdays because that is my day of worship. It is the Sabbath. I'm not going on Saturday. And they're closed on Sunday. <laughs> so if I don't bother to go to Hobby Lobby after work, I'm not getting anything from Hobby Lobby. I can't think of a time when Michael's let me down with planner stuff and stuff. No. And when Michael's is out, it's because they have literally just sold out. Not because their inventory is not correct. Michael's is my, you can get online and they will tell you in your store, it's on aisle such and such. That's how good Michael is with their inventory. Hobby Lobby is good with returns too. Just bad with the one 40% off coupon. Yeah. But that's the good thing is we do get those coupons at all three stores. And We're just not going to get that with Hobby with a Happy Planner ever. I just don't think we're ever going to get more than a thirty percent discount from them. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. I like that online they tell when to store order. Yes, I love that about Michaels. Is great with inventory. Like they are the best. And if they're not sure if they have it, they will tell you that you need to check at the store. They don't let you put it in your cart. And say you're going to pick it up at the store and then they don't have it. They won't even let you do that. Mm. Joanne's just needs to get it together. They need to get it together. And I know we're talking about planner stuff, but I just sit and I think about other things that people are possibly ordering from Joanne's and they're probably still having the same issues. Or do we have this problem with their planner stuff only? I wonder. Interesting. I wonder. <laughs> throw Joanne's in the trash. Throw the whole place in the trash. I'm telling y'all, I when I got into this planner game last year and I started tell, seeing people talk about buying stuff at Joanne's, I didn't even know we still had a Joanne's store here in, in San Antonio. I was like, we still have Joanne's? Wow. I was shocked. And I think we have like three or four locations. So it's very shocking because I thought they were long gone. <laughs> but yeah, we do need to throw the whole joins in the trash. It's, it's just so sad about them. It really is. But I hate I missed that. Hey, Michelle. I hate I missed that, that uh, big clearance on the teacher and student planners. And I heard people were trying to go to buy, sell trade sites in groups and sell them for a whole lot of money. If I was able to have caught that sell, I wouldn't have been trying to sell them. I might've did a couple of giveaways. And I just, like I said, I would have just used those um, and redated them for next year. That's what I would have done because the way they, they do the teacher planners, you have to buy a new planner the next year. They don't sell any extension packs. And now they would make a whole lot of money 
if they made a teacher planner extension pack. I don't think they even know how the teachers would buy those things up so they don't have to buy a whole other planner. I don't want another planner. And I know there are templates. Um, Cause I actually downloaded a template, I think from either, yeah, from a Facebook group. So I downloaded a template for the teacher play pages. If I have to get some printed, pay for that. I will weigh out the cost of paying for that as opposed to getting a whole new planner. Because I actually like the cover and everything that I have. I don't really think I would want to get another one when the next year comes around. And that is something that you can't do. You can go buy blank dashboard layouts, vertical layouts, horizontal layouts. You can go buy those layouts. You cannot buy teacher pages um, by themselves. But I know... I can print my own if I needed to do that because I do have the template for them. Maybe, Kate. So we'll have to talk about that. Yes, ma'am. Definitely. So yeah, not feeling stargazer. <laughs> Homebody, love the florals. But. I might maybe get like the sticker book, maybe. I, I watch the flip through. I think I like the botanicals better, but maybe. Which they already talked about the one on teacher lesson ones. Yeah, the Happy Planner teacher uh, lesson pages. You don't like any of them? I'm not thrilled. Definitely not thrilled, Michelle. And I was telling them I'm mainly looking for a vertical neutral planner. But I don't like these layouts. And I was hoping they would have came out with some creative new layout. And they didn't. And I am I think the Glam Girl is going to have the lined vertical. Which I don't mind lined vertical. But I already have the lined vertical. I have it in my um, that unicorn planner that I got. The Wonder Seeker one. And I don't want another one because of the shading. Sometimes I don't want the shading at the top. So it would have been nice if they didn't do the shading at the top because I don't think original Glam Girl had the shading. So I'm just, and I don't even think I want a Glam Girl planner. It doesn't seem like it's going to be Glam Girl like the original Glam Girl, but I'll have to see. And then once again, I'm looking for something neutral. <laughs> so I may just buy the stickers. I don't think I'm really going to buy uh, and then what's that last one? Um, the Encourager. I don't remember what layout the Encourager has. To me, the Encourager is nothing but this womankind all over again. It, that's what it seems like to me. They, they, The womankind was selling. They said, let's roll with it. Let's make a planner girl based on this. Um. So, yeah, I don't think so either, Michelle. I don't think I'll be getting a girl planner. The little I saw of them, I'm not impressed. Too girly for me. I don't mind girly, but at this point, I just really want something neutral. I would rather have the girly stickers than the girly planner. Just give me simpler flowers. Yeah, I, I was mad that I couldn't find that coastal vibes in the vertical. I kept finding it everywhere in the horizontal because if I had found that in um, vertical, I would have my neutral planner right now. So encourager is that, that's the one it's wellness. I was really like, are they really using that layout? I, I, I can't believe that's how we felt last year when they gave, Socialite, that student layout. That's how I feel about you giving one of your planner girls the wellness layout. What were they thinking? What were they thinking on that one? I was like, no. <laughs> um, no. Why? 
So I know we have what? Checklist, that's going to be the happy hostess. Stargazer has the monthly. Homebody has the dashboard. Glam Girl has the shaded line vertical. And then the worst of them all, if I had to pick one that I like the least, how dare you give one of the girls a stinking wellness layout? That is just ridiculous. Yes, Socialite was very disappointing. I didn't even bother to buy the Socialite stickers. I didn't buy any Socialite anything. I, for me, it was too many scallops. And I don't mind scallops, but it was just scallops all over the place. And they sold us with that bow. Remember, they sold us with the bow as the sneak peek. And how many bows were actually in that sticker book? Not very many. Socialite was a total disgrace. And they tried to sell that sucker to us. I mean, they were laying it on thick trying to sell that one. I was like, oh, no. And one thing I learned from last year, they, they came out with a lot of new layouts. People were so excited about all the different layouts last year. But one thing I have constantly seen is that people have all made all kind of adjustments to make those layouts work for themselves. So everyone was excited about them. But in reality, the layouts weren't really wake, working for people. People had a lot of issues with the dashboard. People had a lot of issues. Um, what was the other one they came out with last year that everybody thought they were going to like? Miss Maker. There was a lot of uh, people changing around the Faith Warrior. There was just too much going on with Faith Warrior to plan in that. It was just a lot. It's like two, what, four pages? You're No. All I saw last year was people changing those layouts to fit their needs. And so I was like, well, they really didn't work for us after all, you know? I like the girls being illustrated and with a unique fashion style. Switching to phone. I gotta, okay. I was thinking super glamorous for social. I did too. Like I missed out on glam girl and I was so waiting for a social light. That bowl was like, I'm thinking if you just look at celebrity social lights, do they look like that social light girl? Are they all bowls and gingham and scallops? No, they're not. Social lights are four inch stilettos. Okay. They're more like a, a dressed up wrong, wrong girl is what social lights are. Not what they sold us last year. I like the healthy hero layout, but not for the encourager. I like the faith warrior, but I do a lot in that planner. Yeah, it was too many pages for me. And I, I've, I've tried to think about how I would use a faith planner, but it doesn't work with the way I do Bible study. Tiara? Picnic site. <laughs> it was very like picnicky. To me, it reminded me of like a country girl. I felt like it should have been called like pretty girl or something. That's what it should have been called. Yes, the wrong, wrong girl should have been the happy planner girls. I agree. That, because they've got all kinds of wrong, wrong girls that could have been made into different, um, <laughs> different happy planner girls. <laughs> no, that super mom looked like she was raising <laughs> 12 kids by herself. <laughs> With them, what, Birkenstocks? She had on her face. She had on some burning socks. I don't know. She just looked. <laughs> she looked like she's raising 12 kids by herself. She's in charge of the PTA. She um she's the pickup mom. 
She's a soccer mom. PTA meetings every week. That that woman. Oh my goodness. And then it was very offensive to me when they told us to just color them in. Excuse me? Excuse me. If you were able to bring out squad goals and you had different colors in squad goals, there was no reason that you couldn't have made the planner girls in different colors. Because what did you turn around and do? You still turned around and did it. So you had the ability to do it all along, Dorothy. <laughs> you just needed to click your heels three times. <laughs> she makes her kids home, make her no less homeschool. Yes. That poor. And then so many people were saying that Miss Maker looked like Chucky. <laughs> and I could never see anything else once I saw that. I was like, I'm forever going to see her as Chucky now. <laughs> Miss Maker, she was Chucky. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh. Oh goodness. So what did they have last year? Socialite, Super Mom, Miss Maker, Faith Warrior. She was probably the most decent looking one. And I don't remember what the healthy hero the healthy hero looked like. She she came out of that um, 80s movie with Jane Fonda and John, not Jane Fonda, Jamie Curtis and um, John Travolta. <laughs> She's the, Miss Maker is the homeschool art teacher. <laughs> Oh man! And poor healthy hero, she looked like straight out of the Olivia. What is that, Olivia Newton-John? Let's get physical video. She looked like she just hopped right out of that video. <laughs> those, those those girls needed a lot of help. And I'm, I'm agreeing with you, Michelle. They should have just used the wrong, wrong girls as the happy planner girl. Now. I don't know if anyone has seen what the girls look like yet. Has anyone seen what they look like yet? She's super mom, Zumba teacher. <laughs> and she needs a counselor with all those kids raising them by herself and all she has to do. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, they look like they all belong in the first wives club. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's seen the new girls. I wonder. Because any everything that I've seen, I haven't seen what they look like yet. <laughs> They're all going to need a... <laughs> They're all going to need a Radiate Positivity Guide Journal. <laughs> I can't. Oh, social media is her sister left the bar. <laughs> she looked like Polly and Anna. <laughs> I can't. Y'all are killing me. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Yes! What was that show they had together? Oh my God. That's too funny. The Simple Life. Yes, that's that's what social life is. Them trying to live the simple life. Oh my goodness. Social life was a huge... Like, I can't even still get over how huge of a disappointment that was. And people still went on and bought it. I was like, why are y'all buying that student planner? Those are probably on a discount right now. <laughs> like, why are you buying that? Oh, 
It was painful. It was painful to watch any plan with me that had that planner. It was so painful to watch. And I know like with one of the last, the last release when they came out with the vintage botanicals and everybody ran to get that one because of those discs. I saw a lot of people start to use that monthly and then it just dropped off. I don't think I've seen a plan with me with that monthly spread in forever. Only person I know that incorporates it still is Tamara um, at the paper and pen girl, but I don't know of anyone that uses that monthly. I know that um, Rebecca over at Eat, Pray, Plan was using it, but she doesn't even use it to its full capacity. They were like, oh, it has a perpetual calendar. I was like, you can make it. True. You like it for budgeting? I can't, I can't do, and that's, I do have in the little budget kit that I got from Johanna, it does have like that monthly layout in it, but I admit I don't use my budget planner like I should. And it, that's perfect. I think for, for budgeting and tracking stuff, I just need to get my butt back in the groove of doing that. I use it for my dumps. Slash messy plans. Trendsetter was your all-time favorite. I couldn't get with it. I guess because I'm more of a decorative and functional planner is why that monthly layout doesn't work for me. That's why the dashboard doesn't work for me. Although Christy can decorate that dashboard like nobody's business. I've seen her do great with that. But I, it... I want to put too many stickers and it could be that because I started with vertical and vertical is, I know it just might be more comfortable for me. I know I like the monthly, just wish they would make it lined with no daily to do's wording and no check boxes. That would be better. I think Raz, if they made it like that. Oh, you don't do the, <laughs> she said not anymore. <laughs> Oh goodness. I saw your that you're using that big planner. And I think that um that new Teresa Collins one's at Staple, I think it's a big planner. So I was saying to myself, self, if you can't find a neutral planner and you have to go with that one, you're just gonna have to start using the big planner. I use the big for the teacher planner. And I don't really take my classic anywhere with me. My catch-all planner usually just stays at the house. So we'll see. Right now, that's the only planner I'm really leaning towards is the Teresa Collins one because it's the most neutral thing I've seen. Um, <clears throat> I carry a Michael just micro just for errands. Yeah, so like I was saying, because I'm starting to use my Hapanichi, I don't even know if I want to get another mini. I, I'm thinking not. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go with a mini again. If I find a, if. So what did we say? The Happy Hostess has what layout? What did we say the happy hostess has? Um, the checklist. That's right. I'm really going to have to look at that one. If it's just like so darn cute and that has got like cakes and brownies and muffins all over the place and I just can't resist, then I might get that in a mini. It's going to depend on how colorful and decorated it, decorated it already is. <laughs> the last planner girls were the hillbillies. I don't know what they were doing with those girls. They just all look bad. Like I said, the Faith Warrior was the best looking one they had. <laughs> that Faith Warrior, she was like, let me pray for y'all. <laughs> Because y'all look a mess. <laughs> oh, goodness. The happy homeless girls. Oh, Lord, I can't. Y'all going to have my throat hurting. I'm already losing my voice. 
Oh, Lord. So it looks like most of us are probably just going to be looking at accessories. Um, and now when I buy a sticker book, I have to like at least 85% of what's in that sticker book before I buy it. If not, I'm not, I'm not going to buy it. They personify messy bun and getting stuff done. Yeah, they sure do. They surely do. Yeah, that happy hostess sounds all cute and fun. We'll just have to see what's up with that one. Do y'all know which girl they are showcasing tomorrow? Yeah. I don't know. I don't like all the sticker sheets. <laughs> It's on Instagram on their IGTV. And at first I couldn't figure out how to view it. But the app on my phone, when you go to Happy Planner's account on Instagram, it says IGTV. But when I click there, it wasn't where everything was. And then they had a little icon right underneath it. And when I clicked the icon, it took me to everything. I think I saved it. Um, let me see. Because I think they listed when they were going to show everything. Let me see. I saw a list somewhere, but now I don't know where I saw it. <clears throat> oh my God, what was she doing in that video? I was like, you're not showing us anything. It was like, I got to do this and I really don't want to do this, but I said I was going to do it. So let me do it. It was bad. So the encourager is Thursday and happy hostess Friday. So that means glam girl is tomorrow. Let me tell you this. <clears throat> For the sheer reason that they even brought glam girl back, it better be all that with a bag of chips with some guacamole and some salsa on the side. Because if not, they're going to get a lot of backlash from that one. Because people are going to be like, why did you even bother to bring it back? <clears throat> Sometimes I'm out of driving and I miss stuff and forget. I'm that granola tired mom, <laughs> Christy. <clears throat> I told my sister she looked drunk, but I low-key loves it. Something was off. Like I'm something was very off about that video yesterday. And it was just not even a good quality video either. And I was like, what in the world? <clears throat> So tomorrow would be Glam Girl. So Friday is when I want to look because I don't even know if I want to bother looking at Encourager. I don't think that one is going to intrigue me at all. To me, it just screams womankind. And I keep going back and forth whether or not I want any of the womankind stuff. I'll literally finally get to a store that has it. I'll flip through it and I'm like, nah. <laughs> Christy, I said that because I gave my kids some chips and this homeschool mom was like, I have granola chips aren't healthy. <laughs> yeah, it was weird, Raz, how she was yesterday. I was like, and is it me or does Stephanie look like she's gained weight? Not that I can talk because I can't talk. <laughs> But I was just like, something was just off, right? She And then I saw, I think in their stories or something, she was like talking at some event and she had on all black, but she even looked big in the black. And I was like, what is going on here, Stephanie? <clears throat> I don't know. 
But yeah, so definitely want to see what Glam Girl is going to be all about. And they better make sure they do a very detailed flipping the through of the Glam Girl. And it better be, they better bring it or people are not going to be happy. You messed up with socialite. You better bring it with Glam Girl. And people are already not happy about the layout with it being the shaded vertical line. So that's already a ding against them, right? It's the fame. <laughs> Christy. <laughs> oh, goodness. But you, y'all, do y'all ever watch these lives and trip off of the people like, oh my God, oh my God, I got to get it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I'm just like, Y'all act like y'all just walked into the Apple store. They selling you the same stuff. <laughs> I, I just, it, I crack up every time because the people, I think some people, there's just no matter what Happy Planner puts out, it's going to be cute or super cute, or it's going to be great, or it's going to be, I love it, or it's going to be, I have to have it. I think that's just how it's going to, how it is with some people. She talked about it on a live or Instagram last week. It is hilarious. Like, I just sit there like, they're just crossing the little heart. The heart's just going. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I got to get it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. I don't know. And I, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that they can please everybody because they can't. And that's another thing that I laugh about in their lives, the requests that people have. They be requesting some straight up craziness. I'm like, um, um, no, they they can't do that. They cannot give you a sticker book all about a little boy who likes to wear blue and green to school all week. They can have those kind of crazy requests. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of skipped through that live from today. So I missed that, Raz. Somebody said aviation stickers. I'm telling you, their requests sometimes are just out of control. You need to go to these small Etsy shops and stuff like that and ask for that kind of stuff because they can't cater to every single desire. Like, I, I even have to be reasonable with that one. They can't. They just can't do that. It's just crazy. Raz is going to be a happy planner girl. <laughs> Raz, don't you let them make you a happy planner girl and it don't be on fire. <laughs> the new pin boss babe. Oh, yes. They can, your, yours could be called the pinner. Mm. Yes. Or the scripter or something like that. Yeah. But speaking on this new release, this was something else that came to my mind. So I think we've talked about this on my live before. We said they were going to come out with a Happy Nietzsche planner. We said it. They saw people making them. They want in on the money. That's why I'm wondering what they're going to charge for those things. I am wondering. So I'm like, that's another thing they've taken from everyone. Um, really interested to see. And I noticed they didn't give any pricing. <clears throat> Did y'all notice that? I don't remember them talking about pricing. So... Maybe I missed that because I was, you know, <clears throat> fast forwarding through it. But I don't remember them talking about that. For real, because Johanna actually created her own Hapanichi. Sure did. Because she had no choice. <laughs> you know? <clears throat> but I really... And then... Y'all know Johanna has done a ton of different layouts. They better not have one of her layouts. They better not have one of her layouts. A lot of people. 
I was showing my brother how one of those other releases, how they took E. Michelle's little. So, yeah, um, I'm wondering if pricing is going to be more since they made that little merger or whatever with that one company. We shall see. Um, I think Magical Plans might be on the squad, but I'm not sure. Not sure. They should come out with the glam man. Woohoo. Make him look like Aquaman. Ooh. I'll buy that planner and all the accessories. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I will never write in it. <laughs> I will just admire it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they're going to recreate it. They're definitely going to do that. They do need a boy man planner. <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, and they came out with a, 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 a planner man that looked like Aquaman. Oof. I'm going to laminate all the pages. <laughs> <laughs> yep. They stole Kita. They stole E. Michelle. They have taken a lot of stuff. They have. They really have. It will be the Fireman Calendar monthly view. Mm. I saw a clip of some Fireman Calendar on Facebook. I just had to blink a couple of times. Help me, Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> the next um, subscription box that I'm getting from Planners Anonymous has a guy as the model, I guess you could say, of the month. So I'm excited. It's it's kind of a barista theme, which of course is going to be a lot about coffee. And I'm not a coffee girl, but I'm going to embrace it because they have the mail. And I think that's going to be pretty cool. And it's like barista brunch. So that means some pastries will be thrown in there. So I can live with that. <laughs> so that's going to be their next subscription box. So I'm excited. I'm always excited for their subscription boxes. They're just too pretty. And I still have all my stamps and all my papers that I haven't really used. So there's so much I can do with those kits that I haven't done yet. I was supposed to do something for my September setup, but then I didn't leave space in my Hapanichi for it. And so I just decided I wasn't going to do the September setup. Yep, Kate, be careful before they steal your stuff too. Yeah. So maybe they took everybody's concerns about Miss Maker and Happy Hostess will be like a neutral checklist. We shall see. Um, that, that would still be hard for me to decorate in as a classic size, but I wouldn't mind it as another mini if I decide to do another mini. <laughs> But I want to see what those um, wrong, wrong half, half panichis are going to look like. And then I'll just have to make decisions from there. But I'm really thinking, if anything, I'll buy accessories. And right now, I'm not even filling any of the accessories that I've seen. So I might actually be keeping my money in my pocket this time around. Yeah, key to make those journal stickers. Shoot it.
She sure did. Really? Wow. Well, Christy, Joanne's claims to have some wrong, wrong stuff online, but they tell you you need to go get the wrong, wrong stickers at the store. You know where I did see, I think I saw some on the Happy Planner site the other day. I think Happy Planner has wrong, wrong stickers because yeah, I was looking for the washing to see if just by chance I could find the washing. They didn't have that. But I think they do still have stickers on the Happy Planner site for wrong, wrong. Hey, Nyleve. <laughs> I'm disappointed with all the stress. <laughs> hey, Karen. No problem. You can always watch the replay. And I and here's what's crazy because I know Tamara has been encouraging people to save every month so that they will be ready for this October release. I wonder if those people are really happy with what they've seen thus far. My thing is I'm not gonna make myself like something because I'm the first person that will talk myself out of something. And I'm not gonna make myself like it just because it's there. That I'm not gonna do. <laughs> so if Glam Girl ain't, I don't know. I don't even know if I want Glam Girl as a planner. I don't think I do. I need a neutral planner. <laughs> I need a neutral planner. I don't know. I'm not getting that as a planner because I have that layout already. I don't want that layout again. That's right. I don't want that layout again. So definitely not getting Glam Girl as a planner. Maybe Glam Girl accessories if they bring it. We shall see. I like to look at the stickers, but keep telling myself, no, I'm, that, I'm like that. I'm just like that, Christy. I will... Put everything out of the cart or put everything out of my shopping basket if I'm actually in the store. <laughs> Kate, <laughs> that will save you from wanting stuff. That's why I said, do we have FOMO or JOMO right now? Do we have the fear of missing out on this release or the joy? I'm leaning towards JOMO right now. Definitely. Is it sad I haven't wanted to buy anything all year? No, that's not sad, Nali. That is awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. And another thing I don't remember, uh, do the mini girl planners still come with metal discs? Because y'all know what they did with botanicals. <laughs> I was wondering what that Jomo stood for. Thank you. So did did anyone happen to notice if there are metal discs on the minis? There they are. Did the Stargazer minis have those blue discs at all? So they did put those blue discs on the mini, huh? Those blue discs are nice. Do I really have a use for them? No. Now I did see on, I don't know if it was Instagram or Facebook, there is something that has a rosy colored disc and I don't know if they're metal. Tell me if y'all saw this. Let me go back because I saved some post on Instagram. Let's see. One of them that I saw actually has, oh, I knew I saved that schedule. So tomorrow they're talking about, yeah, damn girl. Okay. Something I saw had those. Rose disc. Man, what was it? I thought I saved it. 
Or was it Facebook? Y'all saw they have these new mega sticker books again. I hope they made them where they are more durable than they were before. Those look like a lot of the same too. There's looks like some new florals in one of them, but probably won't buy those either. Let me see. This lady had a lot of stuff. A lot of flip throughs and stuff. Let me see. I think certain stores have the metal disc. I want to say it was Facebook. I saw that. Something had, and it said rosy disc. Hmm. I don't know. It might have been Facebook, y'all. I think it might have been in Tina Bopper's group because a lot of people were posting stuff in her group. And one of them said one of those planners or something had rosy colored disc. And I was wondering if they were similar to the disc they had on the botanicals planner before. For. I never got the mega sticker book, the Joanne box, or the Christmas book. No thanks to Joanne. You know, I only ended up with that Joanne's box because Empress got it for me. And it seemed like in all the areas where they weren't selling them, they had tons of them. And in all the areas where people wanted them, there were none. But they act like they couldn't ship them between stores, which I thought was just dumb. Um, super dumb. Yeah, let me look in Tina's group. Somebody had posted a lot of that stuff. Oh, the Amy Tangerine box is at Joanne's. All right, and I leave. Bye bye. Okay, let me see. I know I saw this. Okay, here we go. Somebody posted where it actually told you everything, the color of the disc and everything. Um, I can't find it. Man, that's going to bother me that I can't find that. Oops, sorry. My brother calling. <laughs> I forgot to silence my phone. I think there will be a Merlot color disc. Really? Star plans had the whole lineup with stores. Maybe made her take it. Are you serious? They made her take it down? Wow. Wow. That's crazy. I was hoping they would sell those botanical discs. You know how when we all wanted the purple disc and we could only get them on a certain planner and then they turn around and they sold those separately, um, just like they did with the rainbow disc. I'm hoping they will sell those botanical discs separately. I'm praying. Those are beautiful discs. Um, yeah, she did a post about it too. Oh, wow. That is crazy. I wonder how she got up. Wow. That's crazy. My brother's going to be mad because I didn't answer the phone. But I was looking for something. <laughs> and a lot of people thought were saying that they thought those hot pink discs were going to be on the Glam Girl, but Glam Girl has those lilac discs. So y'all think it was an internal email? Ooh, somebody's going to be in trouble. Yep, somebody's going to be in trouble. Did What do y'all think about the hardbound, like, 
not she didn't call them spiral, but she called them something else. Um, what do y'all think about those planners? I'll tell him your box to come. <laughs> He was making sure I opened that box because I had let it sit for like a couple of days and I hadn't opened it right away. He was like, uh, when are you going to open that box? Mm -hmm. Boy, bye. <laughs> so, yeah, it looks like the Stargazer Mini has those deep purple discs and the one of the classic ones has those blue discs. I want those blue discs. They are very pretty. Pretty. <laughs> Michelle, I really don't like any of it. <laughs> that is too funny. Well, we, yeah, that, that Teresa Collins one at Staples. It's like $28. And I don't know if Staples does coupons or price matching or anything like that. The mini glam girl with the rosy disc. Oh. But that means they're going to be mini disc. Do you see how they do things? Do you see how they do things? I don't want them disc mini. I want those disc classic size. They think they're slick. Yeah, I'm only leaning towards the Teresa Collins ones now. So might have to go spend that money at Staples if I don't find anything else. And I, we only have one Staples here. And the one I thought we had is closed. And there's another one that's even further away from me. So I'm like, oh, seriously. I don't like that layout in a mini. Oh, the vertical? You don't like the vertical in a mini? I've wanted to try it. I don't know if y'all watch Planning with Bumble. And um, Mary, Mary Ellen does really nice spreads in that vertical mini. So I, I thought about doing a vertical mini. I went back and forth with it over the last couple of releases. And I was like, man. But now I just, like, I seriously don't know if I want a mini anymore since I use my Hapanichi. I feel like I'm just putting the same stuff in the same place. And I mean, in two different places. Because I always use my mini for like what I needed to do outside of the house. And I feel like I can use my Hapanichi for that now. So I don't know. But I don't really, I'm not feeling like any of the layouts, none of them. And I don't think I could, like I said, I don't think I could handle that checklist layout, even if it was neutral. I don't think I could handle it in a classic. It's going to interfere with the way that I do my planning. And um, I don't think I want it for many again, because sometimes when you don't want the checklist there, you got to figure out how to cover it. And no. But if it's really cute with a lot of pastries. <laughs> I can't, I can't do the dashboard layout. I would have to be like a strictly functional planner to use the dashboard layout. That's the only way that would work for me. The only way. I could see it being used as a little mini teacher planner too. I mean, it's enough space to write what you're doing every day in your classes, but you just wouldn't have a spot for each class, but I, I just, I can't, I don't, I don't think I can vibe with that layout. Nope. Dashboard is good for social media. Social media. Hmm. Speaking of social media, I need to film that video. <laughs> I have a couple of videos I need to film. Um, cool. Well, I'm going to get off of here now. We will revisit this topic. I might get back on live later this week after all the girls have been introduced. 
Um, and then what I originally planned to do today, we'll do next week. But I had to talk about this release. It was killing me. I had to know how other people felt about it because I haven't really talked to anyone about it. Um, the classic dashboard for social media. Okay. I never thought to use that for social media. Interesting. Interesting. Friday night live. If I do a live on Friday, it will have to be very early before sundown. <laughs> um, but that is a possibility. Because otherwise it would have to be like Saturday night. <laughs> but you guys have a great evening and I'll probably get back on live this week for sure. Um, so we could discuss the rest of those girls and see what other jokes we could come up with. Because like we said, we haven't seen the girls themselves. Are they going to even have girls themselves this time? Inquiring minds want to know. So we shall see. We're all wondering about a lot of stuff. I'm really worried. They ain't given prices this time around. They gave all the prices the last time. Really concerned. But we'll talk about it some more later this week. So you guys have a good night and enjoy the rest of your week. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.